Hello, I'm Kaylin Ventresco, a product manager. In this video, I will be providing an overview of Data Management and Automation, or DMA for short, and its available application packages within the suite. Before I dive into DMA, it's important to understand the environment that it lives and operates within, and that's SEL Blueframe. Blueframe is SEL's tailor-crafted operating system that supports working in an operations technology environment. This solution is really crafted to support your need to automate data collection from the devices in your system on a schedule defined completely by you. Automating data collection removes the mundane and boring task of manually connecting to devices and interrogating for new information and then storing this off in a file system. So if we look at what an automated solution might look like where DMA has been operating to collect information from these devices in the system, SCADA would notify the engineering team that there's been an outage in region A, and then that engineering team would log into their Blueframe node with their secure role-based access and be able to view the information that DMA has already collected from these devices. So now let's take a look at the actual application packages in Blueframe. If we look here first at configuration monitoring package, this includes both the configuration monitoring, configuration application for defining your plans and the schedule at which you want to collect information from these devices. The information that configuration monitoring collects is both the settings information from supported IEDs as well as the properties information. So once the plan is configured and running against those devices on the schedule that you've defined, users can come into the system and come into the second application in the package, which is the configuration monitoring archive. Once they're in the archive, they will be able to see a, a report of the information that we've collected back for these devices, identify when we last communicated with this device, and understand if we determine that the settings or the properties information has changed or if it's remained the same. When we look at the properties information in particular, that includes the part number and firmware version information. And then one of the key advantages that our solution has is that when we collect settings information back from these IEDs, we are actually collecting the set.txt files that are compatible to be imported into your SCL configuration management software. The value of collecting this configuration monitoring information aids in supporting your compliance efforts in understanding the integrity of the devices that are monitoring and managing your power system. With configuration monitoring, you can understand if settings have changed or properties values have changed and whether that was intentional or unintentional change and potentially malicious. Looking now at one of the other uh, application packages in DMA is disturbance monitoring. Disturbance monitoring includes the configuration application for defining the plans to go out and collect oscillography and sequence of events information from your configured devices on the schedule that you set. Additionally, disturbance monitoring supports the ability to listen to SELR tags for a notification that there's new data available. We can come in here and define an RTAC device that I've already set up in the system, tell it that I want to listen to this device, and now the system will sit here and listen to this RTAC for any notification coming in that new data is available for collection. The benefit to listening is that we're able to potentially receive information into the system much more quickly than on a scheduled polling interval. Once DMA is set to collect this information from devices, our users would come over to the archive, the disturbance monitoring archive included in this package, and be able to view an interspersed report of event and sequence of events information. This view enables our users to quickly dive into the information that can help them understand an outage in their system so they can get to restoring power to their users that much more quickly. Included with any purchase in the DMA suite are a few um, support tools. The first being the DMA REST API. The DMA REST API supports read-only access to the data that DMA is collecting and storing in our own private data store and makes it available to your third-party business tools so you can integrate this solution with your existing tools that you're using in your company. The next supported tool is DMA Diagnostics. DMA Diagnostics is the automation system troubleshooting tool that helps support our users when they're analyzing how their automated system is running. One thing we understand about power systems and the communication networks that we're using is that the automation solutions that are traversing these networks 
need to be able to very accurately understand how those communications are going. The communication networks are very sophisticated and intricate, and because of that, they're also likely to encounter some failures over time. And so having DMA diagnostics can provide holistic system overview statistics, so you can understand how that automation system is working with your system as a whole, as well as the ability to dive down into specific device-by-device -device interactions with the system so we can understand the successes and potential failures so you can troubleshoot your system. DMA can be installed on a blue frame node located out in the substation on an SEL automation controller. This kind of deployment is ideal when you might not have very robust communications from the substation to a centralized OT location or when data collection speeds are of the utmost importance. Having a localized blue frame installation in your substation can mean that you can collect information much more quickly and then publish that information from your substation to a localized location. The next consideration for having a centralized installation of DMA would be on a virtualized deployment on server grade hardware. This is an ideal deployment when you have very robust communications out to your substations to that centralized OT location or when you have SEL RTACs out in your substations acting as data aggregators for us and being able to notify DMA that new information is available for collection. A third deployment of the system is a hybrid approach where you may or may not have great communications to all of your substation locations. And so you can utilize distributed blue frame nodes out in those substations, but also utilize a centralized installation for the substations that do have great communications. DMA is an ever-evolving suite of applications, so please look forward to more applications to come. For more information about data management and automation, please take a look at our support videos on the SEL webpage, or reach out to your local support to start a conversation about how you might deploy Blueframe and DMA in your system. Thank you for watching.